focusing now on health and disease management. Health and disease with all wildlife species within this unit, as I mentioned earlier on, we are now beginning to learn about these animals. It's a demonstration training research unit. Yeah. Right? So everything that we document in this unit goes as research, as record. So if we encounter animal with fight wounds, they have a tendency to fight, they, that will be considered part of the health and disease management, managing that state of animal in that condition. So as you will see with this animal here, you will notice that he has some bite marks on his back. Now that is also a sign of, um, of the attempt to mate with the females. When the females are not receptive, they will attack the male. So, this animal here will have to be treated. We will have just a spray the wound to prevent any uh, further development in the worst case. Focusing on breeding and reproduction in Aguti. Now, Aguti, what we have in Trinidad, we have different color morphs of Aguti. One species, different color. So as you see inside this, this pen here, we have the golden Aguti as we describe it. The typical brown Aguti with the red rum and you would also see a white with a golden rum. They are all one species, they are the Procter da Farina or as we call them locally, Aguti. Now, Aguti shows no visual sign of heat or that in period where the female is receptive to a male. So, in order to achieve optimum production in your unit, the male must always be present in the environment. Now, with Aguti, we utilize different male to female ratio, meaning we use different number of females to one male. So in this pen, we have 10 females to one male. We could use five females to one male, and maximum 15 females to one male. All right. The gestation period, it's 115 days, plus or minus five days. And the female will normally give birth to an average of two sucklings per litter. The Aguti, they are born what we call precocious, meaning as soon as they are born within an hour after birth, they would start consuming solid feed, ripe mangoes, ripe bananas, soft vegetation seeds. They would start consuming those um, fruits, vegetation, approximately one hour after birth. Um, this is a survival mechanism utilized by these wild animals. We cannot be born um, defenseless, meaning like domesticated animals such as rabbits. Rabbits are born without fur, helpless, they're dependent on the mother. No, these animals could survive on their own approximately one hour or immediately after birth without maternal care. Um, we wean animals here, weaning meaning removed from the care of the mother, between two to four weeks. What determines the two to four weeks is the stage of growth or the growth rate of the succulents. Um, if they are small and growing very slowly, we would leave them for approximately four weeks. If they are growing rapidly, we wean off early. The reason for weaning off the animal is to optimize production in your unit. As soon as the female is weaned, you can place her back on the floor and almost within a day or less, she would meet again. All right? So they are very, very prolific breeders.